what's up guys, H. DeMarzo here. So I recently discovered that in iMovie 11, if you import a video clip into iMovie to use in editing for whatever your video project is, that the audio goes out of sync with the video, um, making it very difficult. You have to mess with the, uh, the audio and the video to kind of get them back in line, get them back in sync. Um, and I've been having some issues doing that. Um, I recently went to go talk to the lovely people at the Apple store. Um, they said that there's, there really just, there's no solution until Apple comes out with a, with a software update. Um, however, we did find a workaround to get your audio back in sync with your, um, back in sync with the video. Um, it's, it was kind of cool, it was kind of ingenious. Um, so we'll go ahead and I'll share that with you right now. Okay guys, so like I said, your audio is out of sync with your video when you import files, um, or not files, movies into iMovie. Um, so the fix that we came up with, and go ahead, if your iMovie is not already open, go ahead and open it, um, import the clips into iMovie that you're gonna wanna use. Um, so first you're gonna want to detach the audio track from your your specific video um, then go ahead and select the entire clip select the entire clip right click on it and you're gonna add freeze frame now if this happens to you, the freeze frame goes in the middle of the clip, go ahead and move it to the end. And you can rejoin these clips by selecting them, right clicking, and join clip. And it'll put that those clips back together. Um, the default duration for the freeze frame is four seconds. That's a little bit too long for me. Um, I'm gonna set it for 0.1 seconds so that it's not um, so it's not too long, it's just enough to give you enough space to move the clip around. And we'll go ahead, we'll take a look again. What's up guys, H. DeMarzo here. Okay. So I recently discovered that the audio is still out of sync with the, uh, <clears throat> with the video. Now what you do is you go ahead and you, cl you click and hold up where it says Movie Recording 3. It's what you would consider the title bar. And you just go ahead, you move it over. Now if we look again. What's up guys, H. DeMarzo here. So I recently discovered that in iMovie 11, your audio you is right back in sync where it should be. Now the extra freeze frame, the extra frame that you added, really not gonna make that much of a difference. So we'll go ahead and I'll the end of it. Right now. Um, it's a little bit different, but it's not that noticeable. So if you go back and you take out the freeze frame, you can add in just the black background. It's essentially the same concept. Except that it's not going to be, it's not going to look like the uh, the video is stuttering. You go ahead, you move it back over again, and still, it should be, pick any point, right back in here. It should still be in sync. With video. Uh, it was kind of cool, it was kind of ingenious. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll share that with you right now. So, there you go. Your video is right back in sync with your audio, um, as it is intended to be. And then you can go on and continue editing your video. You can use that blank spot as a as a transition, that black uh, the black slate as part of your transition. Um, and like I said, move forward and move forth with your um, video editing and making your video as you as you need to do. So that's all I got for now. Just a quick tip for you guys. So until next time, keep it real, guys.